order online and they got a star next to it. Does that mean it's full? It's coming. That's the redheaded girl. I don't know why. She knows? I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. Oh, 20 minutes. It's only been. Maybe it's ready. Yeah, it could, it could be. It's almost 20 minutes. We'll find out. Don't worry, Joey. How, it's how, been peaceful. The people have been friendly. There's no problems. And it seems like a nice atmosphere here. I didn't expect to come today. This is my second time. I didn't expect to come today, honestly. But I looked at the menu. I got some time off from work. Why not get the quality that I'm looking for legally? Great options. People are real knowledgeable. Passing out coffee, muffins. I don't get this service when I'm at the liquor store. You know, there's people of all ages, of all, of all situations, just here to, to celebrate the, um, the freedom. The freedom to uh, use this plant that's grown on our earth. But really, I don't think we're, we're, we're going to be free until we release all the incarcerated. If I like to see the people that, are, that, are, that normally smoke pot that don't look like they rob or steal, that are just regular citizens of society. You see all class of people here. I was absolutely blown away by the fact that it's a two hour wait to get in. I think it's awesome though because like my friend bought something, there's a 20% tax. That's perfect for the state because that's a lot of money. Like you got a two hour wait that's just been nonstop for all day. Like that's going to be a lot of money coming in for the state and I think that's probably the best thing the state could have done. I wanted to try the the legal stuff, you know, see how it is. I, I wanted to see how it actually, like, you know, looks like in person, too. Because, like, I, I've heard people say that it's all the, it's either really cheap or, like, really expensive. And I guess it's, like, more expensive. I've been waiting for a while. Uh, ever since, you know, that July 1st, you know, date was passed. And then it just kept passing. And, well, now it's, you know, it's almost December now. So I've been waiting for this for a while. I've been smoking since I was 16, and it was like corner and all this other stuff, risky we're taking. To be able to walk into a place like this is like a, walking into, a kid walking into the candy store. And I'm 62 right now, so it's been a long time. I just planned my day around this in that I had some other errands to run in Massachusetts, so I just added it to it. <laughs> people seem rather friendly. I mean, I think most people are friendly. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, but. I mean, the culture, it's just a culture of people that uh, I think have been forced to hide behind a closet for a long time, and now that they don't have to, they're here. I am a tremendous advocate of marijuana, both for medicinal reasons and for recreational. I think it's about time. I think it's a great way to raise some tax revenue and satisfy people's needs at the same time. So I'm a little surprised that it took as long as it did. I understand, you know, they were waiting on the independent lab to be approved. Um, it could have maybe been streamlined a little bit better, but it's finally here and I'm thrilled. Definitely, I don't think it should be a, a two hour wait. Um, you know, it, I, I don't think only two uh, locations should have been opened this late in the game. There's just so much pent up demand um, that it just, I mean, it makes sense that there's uh, a long wait. You know, a lot of a lot of demand, not a lot of supply. It's just what's going to happen. I mean, I don't think it's a harmful thing. I think it's good for people. There's a lot of benefits to it. I think it's a good thing so people don't get in trouble. And I think it would be good to use the tax money to improve the roads in the, in the states. And people shouldn't be in trouble. Like Trump just passed the law that, you know, people shouldn't be in trouble for doing things that are nonviolent. I think it's a good thing for the community. If there's people on harder drugs like the fentanyl and stuff, they can focus on those addictions. But this is a less harmful thing, and I'm glad that they did it. Even before it was legal, people were doing it. It's not going to really change anything except for the fact that now it's safe, it's monitored, and you know where it's coming from. It's not some sketchy person growing it. It's there's regulations to it now and everything's safe. I think this could potentially have a pretty good impact on the opium crisis. Because I know when I was younger, I used to be addicted to the painkillers. Then transition to smoking marijuana more and more, got off of that. Plus I use it for medical purposes because my shoulder, I hurt my back, my lower back two years ago as well from work. I do think that um, it is a healthy alternative to um, some of the medication. I do think that it would it's going to help with the opiate addiction. Um, 
yeah, I think I think it I think it's going to be good. Yeah, it's still too early. The stigma is still, you know, very very real. Um, so that's what I'm worried about. Well, we're going to find out what it means. It depends how the government is taxing it, because they may keep the illegal thing going much more than they think they will. Because they think they're being wise guys and taking all the money in the taxes. But that's not going to stop illegal pot. Yeah, like, just, just off the bat, for like, like, the bud itself, like the flower, it's already like, for a G, it's already $15. Like, that's, a little, that's already just starting off. I had a feeling it was going to be like that, but I guess that's what you pay for, like, you know, quality bud and stuff like that, which is understandable. And legal bud. <laughs> so. I could get announced for 180 anywhere, you know. 180 buys you like a half here. <laughs> so <laughs> that's a big difference, you know. But again, the safety of it. That's, and you also know what you're getting. You know, other people, you don't know if they're lacing something with other, you know. So in a way, safety is one of the main concerns here. So you know what you're getting. I'm still waiting for Vermont to open a public dispensary. So um, it's still an ongoing process where I'm from. Uh, it's nice that we can travel. I mean, for me, it's not that much of a travel. It's only like 40, 45 minutes. Uh, but I, there's people in this line from, you know, Connecticut and further south. So, um, you know, I think it's taken a long time and it's really sad that some of the state governments and the federal government hasn't come on board with it to help alleviate some of the financial problems that they could with the tax monies from it. But it'll happen in time, I think. Just don't have kids smoking, don't have kids driving while they're high. That's that's the important thing to me. <laughs> Other than that, I think, I think true liberty is... Uh, as long as you're not infringing on someone else's freedom, you can be as free as you want. I'll be coming back here because I'm looking for an alternative to anxiety, and I believe that this is a really good alternative to medication. Um, I also think this is going to be really good for the economy, for the state of Massachusetts. And I think, you know, I regret that it kind of took so long to actually get it up and running. And I think, you know, people need to get less scared. I don't think that having a facility in the area is going to introduce any more crime. I think it'll actually decrease the crime. It's awesome. It's cool. It's better than alcohol. Like, alcohol creates problems. Weed solves it. So, <laughs> what's end with that? <laughs> it's pretty exciting. Um, you know, the first, you know, state east of the Mississippi to have legal, uh, you know, recreational sales. It's a, it's a pretty big deal. And, I think definitely a sign of the times that things are accelerating uh, in their change towards legalization on a national level. You know, it's like that hopefully all the other states on the East Coast follow suit. I mean, obviously Maine already has medical, Vermont, I want to say Connecticut has medical marijuana as well, but obviously no recreational yet, but once they do that, it should help, like with the roads and everything, tolls, crime. Everything else like that. With the casino being here as well, um, I could easily see myself making return trips. All depends on prices, really. As long as Vermont doesn't have an open market to the public, I will come. I don't have a problem traveling down here. We come down here a lot anyway for the mall and various other things. People that were closet smokers could not come out because we, before we couldn't. Usually when you were going to do it, the police were there for a different reason. <laughs> now they're there to protect us. And also this is also it's more um, safer for the people. You know, I mean, you will go to a corner and kid, you don't know what was going to happen. You don't know who was looking at you. They could have jumped you, you know. This is legal. You know, this is the right way. They should have done it. They should do it all over. Pot smokers do not hurt anybody. We're peaceful people. <laughs> we like to smoke and just sit at home. <laughs> we don't want to go out and bother anybody. So it's a, just due time. It's due time. We deserve this.